All the fog, seeing why I get a clear view. People coming with the tides like we church and pew. Haters putting them aside, yeah, I often do. Some claim it to be friends, but... What's going on, people? This is Influence, and I'm back with another Throwback Thursday. Transformers edition. This is Reflector, a viewfinder, spyglass, spectro, I believe. So, um... This is the G1 toy. Now, Reflector is an interesting character, and everything I'm talking about is from memory. So, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I don't know everything about Transformers. Uh, but this is just stuff I remember. I, I don't really follow the comics like that, or I did not. I do know some of the stuff in the comics. So, Reflector was a character that was very different in the cartoon, the comics, and the toy. This toy, when it first came out, never had it when I was little because it was a send away. You could not buy this in the store. You could only send away with uh, clippings of the other. I don't know if you had to buy specific Transformers and you clip the the UPCs and the little barcodes and then you send them in an envelope and they would send you this. I don't know how many Transformers you needed. I don't know. Which ones? I just never, I never had him because of that. Uh, I was a person that never kept boxes, which ironically now I have a million boxes. But I just opened toy, threw the box in trash, and that was it. So whatever Transformers I did have, I didn't have boxes for. But th these are not the originals. Uh, I don't know where I got these. I uh, tell you the truth, I don't. I have had them for a long time. But I do know they're not the G1 originals. I believe they're reissues. They could even be uh, KOs, to tell the truth. I just don't know. I wasn't into, like, I was into collecting forever. Like, I mean, since I was young. But I wasn't as into it as I am now. When I seen these, I think I just liked them and bought them. Uh, because they reminded me of my childhood and that I'd never had them. So... Like I was saying, Reflector was a different character all the way around. On the cartoon, he was like one being. So he was all, well, it, it's debatable. He was a, one robot that combined into a camera that split into three robots that were uh, the same person. <laughs> That's how he was, I think, in the comics. But then they changed him to have his own personalities now when you got the toy the g1 toy it turned into this where you had three different robots three different separate characters and i don't know i just like the fact that he would turn into a camera and also i think the toy did this because it was coming from a line of toys that were already in existence and i believe they were already in existence they weren't made just as much as the g1 transformers were they weren't made just for transformers they got turned into transformers keeping up with the g1 tradition that seemed to be uh these are quite different than cartoon which a lot of g1 cart uh toy figures were different than the cartoon when you got them i think that's the appeal of masterpiece like masterpiece is what you think the cartoon should look like as a toy and that's what i think the appeal is for me in masterpiece so let's get on with the review um so you had the three distinctive people viewfinder spyglass and spectra i always gotta uh think about it and they had a little articulation. It was you had forward knee, you had the arms all the way around, butterfly joint, mainly for transformation. The head did nothing, and that was it for him. He had a little more. He can go up. They had guns too. I don't know where the guns are. As you can see, he's seen better days. He's missing an arm. He did have some knee bend, which is for transformation too. I guess they never thought about. G1 designers just didn't think about having uh, articulation like that because obviously they could have. So he has a knee bend. He has the best because he actually has a real knee bend and no elbows, just around. He has a butterfly this way for transformation. And they did think about that because he does transform differently than him. 
And I know a few, I think uh, Hasbro has the G1 set coming out, or they did. They already had the G1 reflectors um, in a set. I'm not sure if it's out yet, but of uh, either Earthrise or, though I can't keep up with them. The one before Earthrise, uh, I guess. Or, and I know Magic Square has a Legends set of their video team, which is Reflector, but it's in this style, which I, uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like. So let's get these. Well, first, do a little comparisons, just because. And it's really an unfair comparison because the masterpiece is what was on screen in the cartoon. And I got all their equipment on, which I, I kind of like for some reason, but it does make for heavy bots. So this is more keeping in with the the masterpiece tradition and unfair comparison. You see how far we've come since G1 toys in the 80s to now. Uh, and this is fans toys spotter, which is a great... Great third party toy, not without their flaws, but nevertheless, not a bad figure. So now let's get these into transformation. Transformation as uh, simple as can be, as you would expect, but yet still satisfying. Have him. His other side would close if that was the case. Uh, too bad he doesn't have a other side because it's gone. I don't know where it is. When I moved, I lost some stuff, so uh kind of sucks. But that's what happens when you move. I didn't keep everything together. As great as I should have. Then you just combine... These guys like this. Uh, I think his does his head. Thought his head turned around. Oh no, the thing goes on top of his head, so you can't see it. That's right. Oh, it seems as though the little piece on here is in stuck in there, so that's what came off. Uh, but he still doesn't have an arm, and there's pegs on the side that should keep him in place somewhat. There we go. Then you have the extras here. Put this over here. It covers his face. And he has a button. Then he has the viewfinder. That's, that's it right there. He was a mess in the back. You could just see face and arms. and But front, he kind of looked like an old school camera. A camera of the 80s. He looked like that. The little leather on the front, the viewfinder. You could see it better if he had his other side, his other arm, because this would be together. But from that angle, there you go. This is the G1 toy reflector. And I'm out. Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high.